Hi, this is Matt from tracymat.co.uk and for unboxings.com. Here I have the Toshiba Camellio P30. Uh, it's actually a pistol grip style uh, digital camcorder and it is an HD camcorder. It will support, uh, uh, will record at up to 1080p and also 720p. Uh, various other recording modes available. So that's the camcorder itself. We're going to have a look at that in a bit more detail in just a second. Just want to have a quick look at the rest of the stuff that's in the box. First of all, we have a quick start guide, uh, which is actually quite heavy, but it is in uh, multiple languages. So the actual uh, English language portion, for example, uh, is only around eight pages. So you'll get started quickly on that. There's a note about the battery, addendum to the manual. There's that warranty card. There's a CD-ROM, which has uh, ArcSoft software and user manual. There's a screen cleaning cloth there, which is uh, quite soft for cleaning the LCD screen. There is a equipment checklist that tells us what's in the box. Well, let's hope everything's here. There's a small case, obviously with a Velcro flap over the top and a belt loop so that you can actually have it on your belt. Um, it's quite, it's sort of, uh, you know, it's kind of okay. Nothing terribly exciting about it. Battery itself is a 3.8 watt hour battery. Um, 3.7 volt, not ever so large, um, pretty standard looking battery though. Then we have a charger, which is a mini USB style charger. And a mini USB to USB uh, sync cable so that we can actually download the movie footage that we've uh, recorded. Then we have Then we have an HDMI, two mini HDMI cable, which is nice that that's included in the package because a lot of camcorders don't actually have the HDMI cable included. Then we have a composite video cable, um, which obviously has the composite video and only one audio connector there. So we're not actually being able to output stereo. We would expect a white and a red phono connector there. Obviously we only have one, so when we're outputting through composite, we're obviously uh, only out of outputting in like a combined mono, so uh, it's perhaps a bit of a disappointment there, so but that's that's there included. There is obviously wrap, wrapped up here a lanyard or wrist strap, so that we can put that around the camcorder. And then last of all is a small tripod, um, which obviously got bendy legs on it, so that we can table mount it or whatever else but uh, that is included in the package also again nice to have uh, sort of a few albeit you know, no, nothing terribly significant but it's nice to have a few accessories sort of included with the camcorder there so let's take a look at the camcorder itself as you can see it's quite small it does actually feel quite lightweight and uh, first impressions to be honest with you it does feel a little bit plastic um, and a little bit um, Cheap, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. Unfortunately, uh, it does. Uh, yeah, it does. It doesn't feel as robust, sturdy, or um, as well made initially as perhaps the Sanyo camcorders we've seen, you know, over the recent months. But uh, we'll obviously reserve judgment a little bit more before um, we make a decision. Um, on the front, obviously, we have the lens, and it's a five times optical zoom. Below that, what looks like a flash. Um, rather than a mobile light. Comment on that when we come to, that, come to actually do the review. On the side we have a small loudspeaker. And then we can open out the screen, which is an LCD display, 4-3 aspect ratio rather than widescreen. That does rotate all the way around so that you can shoot footage of yourself in the frame. Obviously you can have it rear facing like so. Inside we have a power button to turn the power on and off uh, when you actually have it open. Typically when you open the LCD display it will actually turn the power on but then you can use the other button to actually turn the power back off. Controls on the back for widescreen and uh, telephoto for our zoom also works as a push button and we have buttons either side of that for recording video and then for taking a still. HD button uh, and also like a skip and playback button and play and uh, uh, loop button and what looks like a little flash icon there so does tend to suggest that the, the light on the front is a flash. Underneath that we have a cover 
So we have a TV out, which is for the composite cable that we just looked at, and an HDMI connector, albeit a mini HDMI, and then a USB connector, so obviously we can download our footage and also charge through the mini USB connector there. Nice to see that there actually is an HDMI and a USB connector on the camcorder itself. We've looked at a number of camcorders over the last couple of weeks, or a couple of months in fact, where there is no connector directly on the camera. Uh, and in order to actually get the footage from the camera, or to use the USB or the HDMI, you have to use a dock. Whereas with this, you can actually just use the camera direct, which is quite useful. Don't have to actually carry anything, uh, don't have to carry a dock, just the cables. On the bottom then we have our SD card socket, supports SDHC uh, up to 16 gig, but it is just on the bottom. You notice there's no cover uh, and it is directly on the bottom, which would make me think that possibly there's a bit of a chance of losing your memory card out of the bottom. Um, I know they tend to be reasonably secure and they sort of like push in and push out um, on the spring, but um, I wouldn't be terribly uh, happy with the SD card being directly but on the bottom there, that would uh, sort of that would concern me somewhat. Then obviously you've got the screw thread, which is a quarter inch screw thread for putting on a tripod, and then a little eyelet there for connecting up a lanyard or a strap or whatever else. On the side, cover opens like so, and battery pops inside, and obviously the cover goes back on just like that. Nothing really to speak of on this side, apart from obviously that battery compartment. Controls are fairly simple, um, obviously a lot of it is going to be done on the on-screen menu. Um, the buttons are, um, they feel a little bit soft and they feel, again, um, I hate to say this, I mean, they just do feel a little bit cheap uh, and not particularly well made. Now I could be doing the camera a disservice here very much, uh, obviously I'm you know, just picking it up and just using it here. Uh, and I don't know how they how well they function. I was going to be playing around with it over the next couple of weeks uh, before you know I can actually give you a full review, and I'll tell you really what I think about it when it's you know actually in use. But let me just run down the rest of the specification. We've got a five megapixel sensor, so we can take five megapixel stills. We can record in 1080p as well as 720p. That is a 2.5 inch LCD. We have a macro mode, five times optical zoom, also built in digital zoom. That, uh, as I say, I think that's a uh, flash, looks to be like an LED flash rather than a xenon flash. Uh, we record uh, videos in MOV and our stills in JPEG. Digital zoom is up to four times. Uh, as I say, HDMI connector is actually built into the camcorder itself. Uh, we do have TV, TV out and USB 2.0. We can record stills. Video recording in various modes, as I already mentioned, we do support 720p and 1080p, but there are other modes in between, as well as SD modes and uh, just like a web mode. So we can record, you know, up to two hours uh, on a standard on a four gig memory card. Power saving, uh, camera powers itself off after three minutes. In terms of dimensions, it's 104 millimeters from top to bottom, like there. 82 millimeters on the width, like so and then the actual terms of like depth or thickness there is 38 millimeters at the widest part. Weighs only 135 grams, as I say, it does feel quite lightweight, perhaps that's why it sort of feels a little bit, as I say, it feels a little bit cheap, but it is, you know, very plastic, there's very little, uh, you know, metal, and it feels like quite soft. But I say, gonna be doing a full review of the Camellio P30 over the next couple of weeks. Um, we'll have some footage and we'll comment on the actual quality uh, battery life and so on of the Camellio P30 over the next couple of weeks. That review will be online on tracyandmat.co.uk really soon and if you want to check out any of our other unboxing videos please check out unboxings.com